Thank you for tuning in to Heart Ministry Network, and I am your host, Brenda Divers, and this is the Extraordinary People Broadcast. I tell you, we've been trying to get this fabulous lady down here for quite some time. This is Dr. Angelia Nelson, and you've heard her on Wednesday afternoon at 12, Go Higher with Angelia. I tell you, I, I hear it when it comes through, Angelia, but I love, love, love just to hear it. She's so inspirational. She's so energetic. You would have you think she's like what maybe ten feet tall and that kind of thing, <laughs> but she's she's big in the spirit. Trust me, trust me. But just say good afternoon to our listening audience. Good yeah. afternoon, everyone. Heart Ministry Radio, and thank you so much, Brenda. Such a wonderful oh, host. Love her so much, Lord. and you have praise been a blessing Lord. to me as well as go higher. Yeah. So I am so glad for the divine connection. It, it was Absolutely. only God. It was. It was. And this we've known each other for years. You yes. don't know that. It's been years. Yes. And we were connected through a mutual friend, a beautiful friend of yes. the Lord. So we're just grateful to have you here. Thank you. So we are doing Extraordinary People. And we thought that it would be perfect for them to see you. Oh. The eyes. The beautiful, I love the hair. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> love it, love it. And, you know, you're just so sold out for God. And it comes through in your teaching. Oh, so you. I just thought that we needed to see you, right? Oh, so praise God for praise that. God, thank you so and we're just going to go through a number of questions. I know you have so much going on. And thank you for coming to the studios. And we have someone we're going to introduce, and we're going to talk about that later. <laughs> right? But our first question, Dr. Angelia, is... What was your conversion experience? How you came to know the Lord? Can you share that with sure, us? Sure, sure. Um, you know, initially my relationship with God started with the seed that was planted through my grandmother. Okay. We all can talk. Some mm -hmm. of us can say that we yes. had praying grandmothers. Yes. I certainly had a praying grandmother. Okay. And um, it was, you know, I grew up in a quaint town called Garysburg, North Carolina. And when I describe it, I describe it as a, a city that had two stop signs, a stoplight, and a corner store. Okay. And not much going <laughs> like on. Like Yeah, like Mayberry. That's right. Uh, okay. and, and, you know, so, but, you know, there were so many things. And, mm -hmm. and I, my mother was a single mother. She raised four children uh, on her own. Wow. But she also had the support and love of family, family members. And one of the things that I remember, we struggled a great deal with some things in life. And, uh, we, you know, we didn't grow up with the silver spoon. Mm -hmm. My mother really mm -hmm. struggled. Worked hard. Worked hard. Yes. And actually, to be honest with you, if I was truly transparent, mm -hmm. we grew up with on welfare, uh, public assistance. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that's another story I'll tell you about. Yes. You know, when I would go to the store with uh, my money was different from everybody yes. else's money. You yes. Know? And ev oh, wow. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. And so they had green money and I had a brown dollar. They had a green dollar. That didn't make sense okay. to me. I realized later mm -hmm. on that I, my money was different because of, you know, where wow. we, were, we were receiving the money from. But uh, my grandmother was really one, very instrumental in ensuring that we had God in our lives mm -hmm. and that we Praise reverenced Lord. God. And uh, she would, we would see her pray and we would see her read the Bible. And she made sure that we went to Sunday school. Mm -hmm. Now, we didn't always understand what was going on. But, <laughs> but we were there. But we were there. Mm -hmm. We were present. We went to church. I was afraid of, the, you know, I grew up in a Southern Baptist okay. church where they fire shouted and, and fire and brimstone <laughs> and hats were flying everywhere. Ooh, okay. My grandmother wore her. And I was literally a, a afraid to sit with my grandmother because I knew she was going to do some shouting. Okay. Okay. And I said, Mom, I, I'm not feeling that. I would cry. I was, I would cry to sit in the back of the church. Wow. Um, and I, for some reason, I knew when my grandmother was going to be have a shouting mm, moment. You felt it. I felt it. And I said, it's time to exit this place. And I was trying to bell out, oh, yeah, and, uh, but mother. she prayed, oh, and she God. taught oh. me early on uh, Psalms 23. Mm -hmm. And, you know, one of the things they tell you, if you plant the seed, yeah. it will grow. It's you, If it's planted, it's surely it's it's sure to grow. To grow. Yeah. And so that was one of the scriptures that I held on to. Now, I must admit that throughout life, and as life took its course, and as I grew up, I strayed away mm -hmm. from, from the Bible and yeah. strayed away from serving God and always had a love for him, reverenced him, yes. would pray, and would yeah. bless my food accordingly mm -hmm. but uh lost that that fire that that fervor and uh, never really had that connection but i can tell you that as life grew and as i grew in life uh and and, and went on life's journey i i really um, struggled with a challenge that was really strong in my family. There was a stronghold on both sides of my family, okay. which was a struggle, a stronghold of addiction. Mm -hmm. And I was addicted to alcohol. And with that being said, 
I, I had a hard time um, really shaking and becoming, and, and I wanted to be set free. Yes. I had a difficult time mm -hmm. um, of really uh, getting away from that bondage. And I prayed and I would pray and ask God to deliver me. And mm -hmm. I couldn't understand why he, he would not deliver mm -hmm. me. I mean, yeah. this was a course yeah. of years when you, pray. yes, when you prayed. And, and, and I would hear stories and testimonies of people of being set free, mm -hmm. of deliverance on yeah. television. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I'm saying to myself, if he can do it for them, then sure. I want, you know, sure. and then I would tell God uh, like this. I said, I don't want to go to a double A, a triple A, or one A. Mm -hmm. I want you mm -hmm. to, to deliver it. me. You are the oh. A. You're the A. You are the A that I want <laughs> yes. to deliver me. Yes. And, and so uh, I was just persistent, mm -hmm. but still struggling with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, this bout was about 20 plus years. I was functional. Yeah. Yeah. I got yeah. a PhD. I was doing all these great mm -hmm. things. And people didn't know what I was battling with at wow. home, Brenda. Mm -hmm. And so um, this was late night crying out to God and really struggling, um, trying to get myself mm -hmm. free because I knew it was uh, prohibiting me and yes. stopping mm -hmm. me from moving forward in yes. destiny and doing the things mm -hmm. that I desired to do. Yeah. And I knew it was a stronghold on both sides of my family. But one particular night when I was in service um, and I was uh, I went with my best friend uh, to service and she was instrumental in really, really praying mm -hmm. me through. I thank God Amen. for it great best friend uh, for praying me through and not judging me mm -hmm. but helping me yes, and yeah. and so we were at service this particular night and afterwards our pastor at the time uh, said you know I smell the stench of alcohol and God is saying to me that there's someone here who's been crying out asking mm -hmm. to be delivered Mama. and and I he said God said you are delivered but there's something you must do mm -hmm. you got to come up and I want to, I want you to get a, have a testimony exposure. Of, of exposure. Mm, and, and, and I remember sitting there and my best friend speaking in tongues at this time. And mm. I'm looking at her and I'm <laughs> speaking it, and I'm like, oh boy, because, you know, I know he's, me, he's this yeah. is me. You're talking to me. Mm. This is, he, and, and I remember the still small wow. voice saying, I, I, he said, I told you I would deliver you, but I never told you how. Wow. And he said, this is your moment. He said, whether you're going to determine what's more important to you, how men view you, or what I am about to do, do in your really life. Like my and so I made the decision. Uh, at that point, I looked around, and I, it was this place was packed. This church was packed. It was a conference. So it was family members and non-family members. And I walked up. I stood up. At the time, my pastor knew nothing mm. about my struggle. If he did, he did, never said yes. anything to me. Yes. And I walked up and tears rolling down my eyes. And he opened his eyes and it was me. And at this point, my pastor knew me very well. Mm -hmm. And we had communication. No judgment. And mm -hmm. no judgment. He just hugged me and his wife hugged me. And from that night on, when I went home, my pastor said, God said, you'll never be the same mm. again. He said, be not only, he said, you would deliver from many things my on that God. day. And I said, yes, I mm. was. And so at that moment, uh, from that mm. point on, I no alcohol, supernaturally delivered. And I promised God from that point that I wanted to serve him for the balance of my, my days. My and I wanted to live my life for him. So I, I, it was just like an overnight blew my mind. Mm. Okay, God, I know you're real, know supernaturally yes. healed. Yes. I don't even want, I don't even like the smell <laughs> of alcohol. And then I say to myself now how, mm -hmm. do, how could I even want something like that I don't like the smell mm -hmm. of it I don't you know and so it was supernaturally it was wow. a blessing by God that just set me free and now I'm on fire uh, I'm with zeal and fervor and wanting Praise to be that testimony I'm not yes. afraid to tell the testimony I'm not ashamed mm -hmm. um, I'm free to share yes. it and I know he's Praise setting my family me. members yes. free uh, of result. that strong as a result yes. and so yes. I'm excited about what he's doing in my life and I'm excited mm -hmm. to tell about how awesome he is what an awesome Praise God we serve so, you know, I'm holding on to the table, <laughs> you know, because you said he didn't tell you how. Mm, no, no, But no. that he would. That he would, yeah. He and was, we have to trust him in the how. In the how, that's right. Ooh, that that's was right. a hard one. That was a hard mm, one. Mm. Because at the time, people thought I was this great woman, this PhD, who I had it all together. And she were. was doing all. Absolutely. And, and <laughs> on the surface, I, mm -hmm. you know, perhaps was to many yeah. people, but... Uh, I battled, I struggled, and I know that I'm not the only one who yes. goes through that. I know that there are great men and women of God who are doing who are great things, yes. but have their, those inner um, uh, struggles that mm -hmm. they have, and they're dealing with those addictions, those yeah, secret yeah, addictions, yeah. and they're crying out like I am. And I'm, they, listen, I just want to let them know today that God is true to his word. He's yes. faithful. And if you keep be consistent, and you keep praying, and you keep asking, and trusting and believing, he will That's set you free. Yes. But you've got to be willing to 
um, be exposed. Yeah. You got to let him do it his way. That's the scary part. Yeah. And, and I'm not ashamed. Yes. The key is, um, I'm, I'm so free from mm -hmm. it. I'm not ashamed. You'll tell the world. And I'll tell the world. I tell people all the time. <laughs> and they'll say something. I say, oh, I was set free from that 20 plus years. Mm. They're looking at me like, you, yes. were that, you were dealing with alcohol addiction? Oh, definitely. Big time. But here's the thing yeah. with me, Brenda, and I'm going to say this and move on. I would go you can to take your time. I would go <laughs> to the bars, mm -hmm. hang out at my special places, mm -hmm. and talk about God. I would have conversations and literally bring my buddies who were hanging mm -hmm. out on the bar with me. Yeah. I would literally have them in tears because I would tell them the how difference. awesome God was and how great God was. Now at this point, I was still drinking, mm -hmm. but I'm still talking about how awesome God was. And then I would go home and say, God, how come you haven't delivered <laughs> me? But you still, I'm. But I'm talking about you. I'm sharing your yeah. goodness. What about me? What about me? Mm. But I had it in my heart. I knew. Mm. I said, at some point you will, you but I need you to do it sooner than later because yeah. I'm sick of mm. it. You know, <laughs> uh, you know. And I really wanted to be set free. Wow. But I just wanted. It was so interesting how he, I was. I would talk about his love, his goodness, and his mercy. One man told me. In he the, said. In the thick of it. In the thick of it. One man told me. I'll never forget it. He said, God, God doesn't love me. I, I was. You don't understand how bad I was addicted on heroin. I said, God doesn't. What is that to God? Mm. He, that doesn't mean anything. He loves you. Yes. He sees past all of that stuff. You know, He's a God that's all you are. If you were to say yes to Him, you would see that He'll wash you white as snow, yes. and you would that mm. listen. He would turn you into a powerful testimony for Him. I said so. So don't I know? And this was in the thick of it. This was in the thick of me still battling, mm. sipping on my drink at the bar, <laughs> you know, if you will, uh, and but still talking about how awesome God is. And, and so I, I'm just, God is, he's so yeah, amazing. so my, my life um, now is, uh, is dedicated to praise. serving him and just giving him all the praise and glory. I'm nothing without, but I am a, I am a true testimony that he is faithful yes, he is. to his word. Yes, he is. No matter how long it takes. <laughs> no matter how long it takes. Yeah, sometimes, you know, mm. and you know, you have praying people who were praying yes. for you. I had a best friend who was the praying for me. Time. I had people all around the world, just people who I had come in contact mm. and I shared, they knew that the I was story. battling with mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Um, they were praying for me. So, so it's so important to have people praying for you, pushing it through, yes. pressing it through. Yes. And you believe in that God, no matter what, he's faithful. He'll, he's faithful and true to deliver you. What a story. Yeah. What a story because there are people who are battling. Mm. It may not be that, but they are battling sure. every day mm -hmm. and still praising God and trusting him. Yes. But you're here to say that he will. Yes. It shall. Yes, right? Yes, it right. shall. It shall be done. It shall be done. Yes. And we could stay the whole time. Mm, On we, that this, one. Yeah. We may have to do part A, part B. <laughs> but what a testimony. Yes. Dr. Angelia. Bless so. the name of the Lord. Somebody has been set free today. Praise God. That's by the the word of your testimony. Mm -hmm. The blood of the lamb and the word yes. of our testimony. Yes. And Bless the name of the yeah. Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. So you see why we have to have go higher <laughs> Tuesday <laughs> afternoon. And that's such a perfect time, I think. Yeah. I thought that it was always a perfect time for your show. Yeah. That hump day, we call it. And when, yes. 12 o'clock, you just in the middle of the day, you're just trying to make it through. That's right. And then you come on with go Ooh, higher. Go higher. Just Amen. Yes. <laughs> Amen. And Dr. Angelia, where did even that start in your life? How did God birth that ministry sure. in you? So, so after uh, my deliverance, you know, spending time with God and wanting to know Him more and developing a uh, more intimate relationship with Him, mm -hmm. um, uh, you, you know, it, it was. What kind it, of businesses are you looking for? He I'm would re with. He would release some things um, to me. Just mm -hmm. talk to me about what it is that he desired for me to do because my testimony anybody who gets a testimony know that it's not about you it's mm, for somebody yes. else my testimony the way he did it was for me to give a testimony for others and so that it, be so that I could be, that mm -hmm. they could be delivered and so um, and, and then I my, you know I always have had a desire to give hope and, and, and inspiration to people I love encouraging people I'm a former coach yeah uh, and so I love giving encouraging people to to go higher and to trust God and know that you born, you were born with a purpose mm. and assignment yes. um, and that, that life is the gift and our our part in the gift is opening it I love that it's saying I that, we, that. Yes, yeah. yes yes life, yeah. life is the gift now open it mm -hmm. and so it, each gift is not the same as we begin to unwrap our gift we'll mm -hmm. see that each person doesn't have the same, same gift. gift yes and so and we may unwrap it differently mm -hmm. 
But the beauty is taking time out to to unwrap it and see what it is that God has yes, for us. And yes. so that was uh, certainly one of the things that I that He put on my heart to help people mm -hmm. understand yeah. that He has created us with a plan and a mm -hmm. purpose, mm -hmm. with an assignment, yes. and He desires for us to go higher in Him and go yeah. higher in life. Listen, mm -hmm. God called us to be the head and not yes. the tail, above Preach. only and never <laughs> beneath. We yes. are more than conquerors. Yes. So whatever more is, we more are more than we that. are more yes. than that. Yes. And so yes. He so and so my desire mm -hmm. through go higher ministries is to um, to share messages and to be honest with you and I share this with you Brenda mm -hmm. that when I st when 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 the opportunity presented itself I said this must be God <laughs> the way it all came down, the yes. way my, our, our mutual friend mm -hmm. Susan yes. introduced yes. this to Shout us, Susan, and, yeah. and and uh, the way that she just opened it up, she said, "Angela, I know this is for you." And mm -hmm. then I connected with you, yes. and yes. then our we already had a connection, yes. mm -hmm. and I said, "God, okay, this is you," and and so th from that point on, he started downloading messages. And I said, God, I will do this mm. if you promise that you will always give yes. me a message. I won't go on. I don't. I don't have anything to say to people yes. otherwise. Yes. Because yes. I don't and have any degree. I that. was purposeful, very and I would say, I would even tell you, mm -hmm. listen, today I feel like God is telling me to yes. replay and to redo. Yes. Yes. And so I'm in, very intentional because I don't want to say things that I know God didn't mm. tell me to yeah. say. Yeah. It's not about me. Mm. It's about His people. So important. And so the Go High Ministry is all about giving hope and encouragement. You know, to have hope in the God of hope. Yeah. Yeah. You know, have faith in the God of hope and, and, and to just inspire and encourage people to go higher and that God is with them and that God has a plan and purpose. Yes. We weren't born to just live nine mm -hmm. to five, yes. to live the rigmarole, God. waking yes. up, going to in retirement. Mm -hmm. And this, that is not that the is life. Plan. That yes. is not God's plan yes. for us. Yes. He said he has a plan, a hope and a plan mm -hmm. for us. Jeremiah 29, and 11, a, future. a <laughs> hope and a future and an expected yes. end. Mm -hmm. You know, his ways are not our ways, nor yes. his thoughts are our thoughts. Yes. And so yes. he has plans to prosper us. Yes. And so if we're not mm -hmm. walking in prosperity in every aspect of our lives, then we're not living the true purpose Praise and plan God. that God has for us. And so my desire mm -hmm. is to um, to elevate our thinking, to yes. give us a, to help us do a paradigm shift when it comes to our thinking mm -hmm. and how it, be kingdom minded. Yes. Yes. To be like you know, I have a At group, all times. <laughs> yes, and I attend mm -hmm. an awesome church mm -hmm. that is teaching us present truth, mm -hmm. an apostolic church mm -hmm. talks about present truth, walking in kingdom. She yes. understands that we are kings and priests uh and then how to walk mm -hmm. that thing out yes. you know? so what so, it looks like and what it looks like <laughs> and how we're supposed to act walk it talk it yes. be it you know, and Praise so we're excited about that. And mm -hmm. so that's how, uh, obviously, Go Higher Ministries is all about. And when I have the opportunity mm -hmm. or a platform to go and speak, yes. then I certainly give the message that God gives to me mm -hmm. to give. And I won't Amen. go unless, unless he gives, gives me a message. I don't have anything to say because mm -hmm. I don't know <laughs> anything. I don't care how many degrees I'm packed with. I know Praise nothing if God Except. doesn't, listen, if God doesn't download mm -hmm. it. Anymore. And I guess, not I guess I know that's one of the reasons that we are behind you mm. in ministry. Amen. We are behind you in ministry. Yes. And I was just listening to, actually I aired it, um, one of my favorite, uh, they're all wonderful, uh, Trust God, period. <laughs> Whenever I'm getting to that point where things are feeling a little rocky, I put on Trust God, period. Yeah. And it played last week. Well, so. Yeah, right. I saw that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, that was, I mean, they're all beautiful, mm. um, but they're just, in, in, in anything, there's certain things that touch you every mm. time, and every Amen. single time Amen. that thing touches me. But I, I love the integrity of your ministry. Oh, thank you. And how you would say, God didn't give me anything today, yeah. and I will not, yeah. <laughs> you know, like you said, my words are my words. Right. I, want, I want God, I to, want God. to download yeah. that thing. And, and his people. Yes, yep. and we respect that yeah. about you. And I, 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 let me just say, I love Heart Ministry Radio, mm. and I see the, the growth and the mm. blessings and the heart that you have. You are a woman mm. of God, and I'm, you have planted a seed in me. You have blessed me. You bless my ministry. You Lord. encourage me. Mm. You'll send me a word. Sometimes she doesn't even know mm. that she's sending me a word. <laughs> that I need to be lifted up and she was, you would just say things and I was like you know what I know that's mm. you God speaking to me yes, through Brenda Lord. so I just thank you so much and I know God has his hands Amen. on this ministry Amen. and it is listen the God has the great things for you in store this I is just the beginning Amen. so and it's I'm a excited. partnership yes you know it's yeah. a partnership yeah. that's why I'm thank you God yes. <laughs> because Amen. of the partnership mm -hmm. and I talk all the time I brag on you guys all the time yeah. you know the people that God sends our way 
you know, these are Bible heads, we call them. I mean, you know, <laughs> just, you know, know the word, mm. but are so humble, mm. you know, by the very presence of God yeah. in your life. And that, that Thank makes you. a difference. Yes. Amen. 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 You, Whew, you know, I can't. So what is God doing now? I know there's a, a new project. That you're starting. There is. You know, a, a couple of things. One is, uh, he, he, I believe that really God gave me a business. It's called Purpose to Inspire. Mm -hmm, I have, mm -hmm. Obviously, I have Go Hire Ministries right. that I go out. But I have also a business called Purpose to Inspire. Yes. And that's, you know, uh, an opportunity for me to help people again mm -hmm. uh, and uh, to to live with purpose, zeal, and passion. Yes. Um, yes. And uh, so often, we just live. We're not, there's no mm, passion. No there's passion. no fire. No there's zeal. no zeal. You know, we just mm -hmm. live. We just, okay we get up and it's yes. just another day mm. that's not how god that's does that not. we're supposed to look forward mm. to our every day, day. We're yeah, supposed every mercies. day is a new mercy if god <laughs> mercies are yes, new yes. then our hope in the it's day new. should be in him and knowing that he's going to do a new Bless thing that we've never yes. seen every day yes. right yes. Yes. and so um and so god is so faithful mm. and that's one of the things through purpose to inspire is to encourage i, I do a lot of keynote speaking leadership training mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and development um I, I was most recently, uh, so I, I, my, my schedule is getting is packed. Good, good, well, uh, and, you know, it's, and I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. I'm not complaining yeah. because there were times when I was crying out to God. I said, did you really give it to me? Mm -hmm. Listen, I am with you when you say yeah. trust yeah. God, period. Yeah. period. No matter what it looks mm -hmm. like or feel like, yes. know that God is faithful and Praise true to his word. And it's Praise good to have people who prophesy. Mm -hmm. my pro I have a, my pro an apostle who prophesied yes. this thing yes. and it Amen. is coming to mm -hmm. pass. So she's an awesome woman of God. Praise the and Lord. so, uh, and so the thing about it is just trusting and believing God. So I do leadership training, keynote speaking, mm -hmm. workshops for mm -hmm. women, seminars for women. Yes. Um, and, and so just excited about what uh, God is doing through that business mm -hmm. alone Amen. and uh, the hope to give people to, uh, mm -hmm. to for leadership. You know, oftentimes, you know, I believe in, in the kingdom leadership. Yeah. Yeah. And I also believe this. Uh, I believe that God uh, gave us a, a way of leading. You know, oftentimes, Brenda, mm -hmm. one of the things I that, that. I've, what, I one that. of the things that I've realized and in, in, in when it comes to leadership is that we uh, try to God didn't he didn't give us a dominion over people over people mm -hmm. he gave us dominion over things mm -hmm. and if you go back to mm -hmm. Genesis 1 I and 2 yeah. you will find that he gave us oh, dominion mm -hmm. over the birds in the, the air yeah. and the flock and all the seas and everything mm -hmm. and the creatures that creep crawling yeah. all over yeah, the place yeah. and um and um and so, but he didn't give us, mm -hmm. he didn't give us management over people mm -hmm. because management had ca carries a connotation of control mm -hmm. right Really but good. leadership Le really good. is, I love is that. totally I different. Love when you the lead, dominion. you're leading mm. people to success. Yes. You're yes. teaching people how yes. to lead, oh, how, to, how to, how to, um, walk in leadership, mm. how to and guide integrity. people. Yes. You know, yes. one of the things that I've learned, you look at the word leadership, leadership is a compound mm. word. Yeah. Leader is someone who guides and directs mm -hmm. and a ship is a large vessel yeah. in need of guidance mm -hmm. and direction. Here's the key with that. Too. But here's the key thing. <laughs> but then here's the key thing with that. If you are a leader and you're not pulling that large mm -hmm. vessel, meaning if yeah. you are a leader and nobody's following, following you, you, guess what? You're just taking a walk. Sure, sure. You're just simply yeah. taking a walk. <laughs> you're not leading. And so what is leadership? Leadership is really having yes. people to buy into your mm -hmm. vision, who understands to, who understands what it is that, you, that you're that you desiring to do, has yes. be, believes in, and has faith in what you're yes. doing, yes. and they have a Getting desire, to and, yes. and, and they look yes. forward to running mm -hmm. with you to accomplish that Love which God it. has put in your yes. heart to do. Yes. And so teaching people the true uh, essence of, mm -hmm. leadership, of leadership, because oftentimes we get kind of tripped up mm -hmm. with the whole, we think we got to control people mm -hmm. through leadership. That's right. not, no, right. we lead people and we manage yes. things. Yes. So management of things, leadership of people. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a yeah. new concept, isn't it? That is a new concept. Listen, that was a revelation. <laughs> That's not taught. That's not yes. taught. That was a revelation that God gave yes. me. It blew my mind. Mm -hmm. He said, go here, now go there. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to go to Genesis. Now what did I tell you about dominion? Yeah. And he said, now look that up. And mm -hmm. then I said, God, you never gave us dominion over people. Mm -hmm. No. So stop saying that you manage people. Wow. You lead people. Lead you people manage, manage them. And you will have a, people will have a better, better uh, relationship 
mm-hmm. with people they're called on yes. to be with them and 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 whatever they do in their Such endeavors freedom. That's, freedom. Be, that's freedom yes. that's exactly yes. what leadership is, yes. is freedom mm-hmm. because now you're teaching people how to become leaders and then now when you, when you're no longer there they can they, take over because you've taught them oh, now you've yes. changed it's a yes. paradigm yes. shift yes. of thinking Absolutely. now i'm not trying to manage people mm-hmm. i'm managing things and i'm leading people. people so now you yeah. see the cycle of leadership the natural the progression. natural progression that's how god I look at how it. god mm-hmm. god taught us through his way of mm-hmm. leading jesus taught through his way of leading yes, yes, yes. he taught them how to lead he mm-hmm. taught his disciples how to yes, lead and yes. then he sent them out Leadership. You mm-hmm. send people out. Yeah. You prepare yeah. them to send mm-hmm. out. That's right. That's what leadership is all and about. And not get fat on what you have in the house. And exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So this is going to... Yeah, so we, we we're trying to get through this. We're trying we're to get really through awesome. this. So we have that leadership concept, but then I all obviously have some inspire yeah. wear mm-hmm. that God's put on my heart. I love I, that. I do inspire. I love that. Yeah, inspire, inspire wear. wear. So yeah. we have yeah. uh, a created to win T-shirt. Mm-hmm. And and here's here's the rea- reality mm-hmm. uh, is that. Um, I don't create anything or logo or a slogan or anything mm-hmm. unless God gives it Give to me. It. So each shirt has a message mm-hmm. that God has given to okay. me. So there is a trust God period okay. message. That's there is shirt. a created that, to win. Yes. Mm-hmm. And the very first one that mm-hmm. he gave me before I even got established is okay. I serve the great I am. Mm-hmm. And so he told me I gave Amen. you that because um, you might be the, listen, the CE, the inspirational speaker the, mm. the, the chief inspirational speaker mm-hmm. or officer I but the i am the ceo of your oh, business yes. you work oh, for yeah. me yes. and so he's constantly reminding me that. and i'm good with it i mm-hmm. said i just manage your stuff god I'm, I'm okay with i'm that. okay with that <laughs> and you teach me how to lead your people yes, you know and touch, lives. and touch lives and 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 we'll move with that but certainly yes, that is one Lord. project yes. that we're doing uh i do have a new book that's coming out and i'm hoping to come out in the fall it's Wonderful. called created to win created to win and so uh, yeah, it's already have been written actually mm-hmm. as a compilation of the messages that I've done here on Heart Ministry Radio. Praise God so put that on my heart. But let me tell you, wow. you planted the seed. Because I remember one day you said to me, you uh-huh. said, Angelia, what is God leading you to do with the messages that you... And I said, hmm, I don't know. Bro. I, well, let me pray about that, <laughs> right? And Praise surely so enough, Lord. when I mm. went into prayer, he said, create, this is, your, this is a manuscript, wow. create the book. And uh, most recently, he gave me the, the title, the Created to Win. So you planted the seed. I thank you so much for your What opinions. a partnership. What a, a partnership. Lot of partnership. Yeah. yeah. Oh, see, I, <laughs> I was not prepared. Yeah. I was not prepared. I know. I wanted to, I I wanted to give you, you that. Angelia. Yeah. What a gift. Hmm. What yeah. a gift. Oh. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh. Thank you so much.